good afternoon wherever you're watching this from. Welcome to the first cup of the Takumi Initial D version coffee. Not really, but uh, this morning I was initially going to go get some coffee from somewhere else, but honestly I'm so freaking tired and I didn't want to drive the Evo all half asleep and just like feeling like crap, so I decided to make it at home. Uh, yesterday we decided to actually wash the Evo for once and I filmed a little bit of that, so I'm going to put some of those clips in right now. to Cars and Coffee Classics in Anaheim, which you guys have seen so many times. Once a month, first Sunday of the month, they do a really nice Cars and Coffee. Typically, there's a lot of like 90s JDM or vintage cars in general. They try not to host too many new cars, which I think is pretty rad, just because some of the car meets or car events you'll go to, I feel like a lot of the times you'll see a lot of the same cars or newer cars, so it's cool to see stuff that's actually from like the 70s, 80s, 90s, things like that. Tell them good morning. Tell them good morning, come on. Don't be rude. He just rubs on everything when he wants attention. stock car baby that is the power of when you're stock ecu because once you go standalone and if you don't have a trigger wheel on one of these cars you'll be sitting there cranking just wearing out your starter the car definitely needs an actual detail but quick little pan of it damn this thing's sick man can't wait to get this thing actually looking prime soon. We're going to pick up some wheels for this thing soon, guys. Very soon. Ghostbusters edition. This is crazy. What? Got a Gen 2 NSX. Damn. This looks freaking clean. I don't think I've ever seen this generation wide body Mustang, guys. This thing is wild. NSX, NSX, Type X front end, look at that red top. Damn. 
Damn, this thing's clean, man. This thing is sick. Oh, yeah. This is something you don't see every day. Eagle Talent, guys. Many guys love this. NSX. Damn. Tangy. A SEMA. This is something you don't see. And look at that 4EG, old Corolla. It's a coupe. I've never really seen any second gen eclipses up close. This is like my first time looking at one. That thing's got a phone. Damn, this thing is freaking clean, guys. Wow. The paint, this, this color is actually really cool. Look at that. I think this is actually, look at this, my man's got the freaking window sticker on the dash. This thing is really clean. I like the color of it. This thing is like super duper clean. Look at the engine bay. Like, you can't really tell, but... It's clean. Dude, that is super clean. The Hot Wheels racetrack. The Dotson section is different today, guys. It's like walking through the pits at a track where all the cars would be lined up. Damn, this thing is sick. Oh yeah, these are clean. Damn. Yeah, I like the color. It's crazy. So many of them. Look at the headlights on this Dotson. Damn, these are crazy. This one has to be my favorite, guys. Look at this little mini truck. He's got the bike, the bike in the back. It's got a bat. What do you say? It's got the, it's got the conchas hanging. This thing is sick. I like this thing. Yeah. Alexis likes a little. I don't even know what this. What is it even called? Like a keychain? No, I'm not saying that. What does that be called? Like a, like a keychain? No, it's a mirror. Whoever owns this thing really thought this out. Look at the bat matching the bike. You got the old school Coke cooler. This the thing gear, is sick. So on it. Yeah, I like it. The color on this thing is insane in person. And it goes great with the wheels too. Yeah, green and bronze always look really good. This like thing is freaking sick. Someone educate me. What kind of Subaru is this? This is crazy. And then Alexis pointed out we got the Stranger Things. Steve Harrington, right? Steve Harrington. He drives his car, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. This SC is literally crazy, guys. Look at this. This thing is dumped on the ground. Look at these RX-7s, guys. Yeah. This thing is sick. does these artworks but these things are sick I really really like the FC one right here damn this is crazy they got the buster yeah they got all types of stuff that one's cool super sick Koki S14 my man rocking the Brazil plates carbon hood look at these confetti seats Confetti's that go hard. I like the carbon wing insert. This thing is sick. We need a 90s car. Mark III swapped. TJ. Damn, this thing is clean, man. It's super clean. And this is the homie that just followed me recently that has the super clean 2J Cressida. Leon. This thing is clean, man. Wow. Really? Let's look at that, man. 1JZ swapped SC. Damn. This thing is freaking clean. Mark my words, guys. One day we will have an S2000. We need some VTEC. Some VTEC on the channel. Like right next to the Overland. Which also, speaking of Overland cars, because you guys were so stoked on that Overland car show, I'm going to post a little clip of fixing the Montero at work where. After four months of sitting, what happened, champion? <laughs> what happened? I say goodbye. I got my boy Ivan get me right. This is better than a forerunner, right? <laughs> it's got a couple hoses. 
motherfuckers expanded as fuck. <laughs> I just cut it with a knife. <laughs> Which a lot of you guys thought that I sold the Montero, which I didn't. Uh, basically, long story short, I had this like overheating thing where it wasn't actually, temperature wasn't rising all the way to hot, but it was getting like three quarters instead of just being at halfway. So I knew there was something wrong with the cooling system. I had one of the technicians at work replace the thermostat and put new coolant in it. That didn't work. And they're actually, they ended up pressure testing the cooling system and there was a small crack in the radiator. So I ended up getting a new radiator. We got a coil rad, uh, new upper and lower hoses. Uh, and there was like a bunch of like brown stuff in the cooling system because the person, the previous owner ran water. So it led to a bunch of rust, but long story short, we got the new radiator, new hoses, uh, just got to drain and refill the cooling system a few more times to get all that rust out. And we should be ready to bring the car back, which is good, but I don't know if we're going to honestly keep the car or if I'm going to buy another car, we'll find out. I'm going to make my decision when I drive the car home and see how I feel because I haven't driven it in like three months. Quick cars and coffee trip. Can't be here too long. Other stuff to do today. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment down below your favorite car that you guys saw over here. So we've been home for a few hours already and we made a food run. Sad to say, this is gonna be the first meal of the day. It's 12.06 in the afternoon. But Alexis and I have never had the infamous Jolly Bee. So you guys are about to get the first look. The unofficial official review of Jolly Bee Chicken. So in case you guys are wondering, if Jollibee's good, I don't know how many people watching this have Jollibee near them or in the world, but it's definitely spicier than Popeye's if you have that to compare it to in your neighborhood. I think the chicken sandwich is a little bit better from Jollibee, only because I feel like I'm getting more like of like a seasoning, more of like a flavor. I don't know. What does yours taste like? <laughs> Spicy, but it's good. I mean, it's just... It definitely has a different flavor than Popeyes, but these aren't good though. The jalapenos oh. are not good from Pop or from Jolly Bee. Don't get them. <laughs> really spicy though. If you don't have a high spice tolerance, don't get the spicy. All right, guys. It's been hours later, and yesterday I slept like complete crap. So I literally felt terrible today. I slept for a couple hours. Went to the gym. Just came home right now. Drank a shake, and uh, there's something I've had for a couple years. I'm pretty sure which is this guy that I got off of Amazon a long time ago that's supposed to help with the oxidation. I've read a lot of good things about it. Actually, technically, I saw this in like a Devin Nymela video. If you guys watch Evo stuff, you know who that is. Shout out, Devin. Uh, I pretty much saw in one of his videos, I think when he had the black Evo 8, he used it, said a lot of good things about it, and the headlights didn't yellow up because pretty much like if you buy like like the headlight cleaners at AutoZone and stuff, they pretty much like, they'll look like the bottom thing for a little bit and then slowly go back to looking like the top thing. And honestly, the headlights that are on the Evo, they're not gonna stay on permanently. At some point we are gonna get JDM Evo 8 headlights. Uh, I'm just not down to pay $2,000 for headlights right now because there's so many other things that the car needs and I'm probably gonna have to buy a motor and it kinda sucks because Mitsubishi just discontinued the short block for the Evo 9 so they're very difficult to find. Uh, I may have someone that can get me one from Japan, but it might take three months to get. I don't know. We'll see because it's through like a friend of a friend. It's not someone I really know. But anyways, the reason why I'm telling you about this now is because I'm going to put you guys pretty much on like a time lapse when you go downstairs. So pretty much just to explain it, there's like one pad that removes the oxidation. There's one pad that will prepare the surface and then one uh, basically seal it or coat it. I do got some painter tape right here that's gonna hopefully not jack up the paint. Not that honestly the Evo paint's in great shape to begin with, but we don't want to make it any worse than it already is. So uh, I also got some gloves too because it did say to use some kind of gloves. Yeah, and it does say it's flammable too, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. So pretty much we got the blue tape all taped around the parts that are painted. I kind of gave up on this one because honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. This hood and the front bumper are going to get painted because this thing and this thing are both pretty beat. So I don't really care if I scratch the hood or the bumper. I do care if I scratch the fender because I'm not planning on repainting that. At least not right now. So 
Let's see how this comes out. Put you guys on a quick time lapse, see how we roll. Step one done. Step two is put these little Velcro things. It's a sanding pad and just kind of going over like this. And then step three is uh, applying the ceramic coating, which I already did it, but I just wanted to show you guys one headlight before and after. Hopefully it stays like this. I can't really tell if it just looks this clean because it's like still kind of wet. I'm gonna wipe it down with a microfiber right now, but this is the after product, which the reflection is so, so bad. I can't really tell how clean it is, but look at this side. This side, big difference. This is pretty foggy. And then look at this side. Damn, I hope it stays looking like this. Let's find out. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it to dry up a little bit more, but uh, Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. It definitely made a difference. I think once it kind of cures from the ceramic coat, it'll look a lot better. But overall, I mean, for like a 10 or $15 thing I bought two years ago on Amazon, definitely did the trick for now until we get JDM headlights. Like I said, eventually they're gonna get swapped out, but in the meantime, at least they look a lot nicer. And uh, this car needs a lot. I mean, I've had the car for a couple years and sadly life has hit me and uh, I had to put the car on the back burner for a couple years, but now brick by brick, we're definitely starting to tinker with it a bit more. And uh, anyone that is subscribed for the ride of the journey, you guys are going to see a huge transformation because a lot's going to happen to this thing. Uh, I definitely want to finally unleash kind of like the 4G63 knowledge I have with my buddy Sam in collaboration with this shop, and uh, it should be a good project. Closing out the video and I just want to clarify that that kit that I got from Amazon is actually really freaking good. The reason why the headlight got Fetty Wapped is because I decided to try to do steps one, two, three again on the passenger side thinking that it would make it look as clear as the driver's side when clearly it didn't and nowhere in the directions does it say to repeat the step for a better result. So if you guys are going to buy that kit, do not repeat the steps. Just try to do the best you can while you're in each step one, two, and three and you should have a clean headlight like on my driver's side headlight came out really clear and in the video you can tell the passenger side did not come out as clear so um this video is a few weeks old there's another car meet video i'm going to release after this that was really really good that was hosted by uh gosh i think it was i don't know i can't even think it's been late today's saturday i worked <laughs> i worked today and uh went to the gym and then came home and edited this video but anyway guys if you made it to this point in the video thank you guys so much please give this video a thumbs up really helps the algorithm out, helps share the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below uh, any questions or things that you liked in the video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.